This journey brings us to Salem, Massachusetts, home to one of America's largest cases of mass hysteria, what would become to be known as the Salem Witch Trials. Trying and convicting numerous people as being witches, this town has a reputation for being one of the most historic and haunted in the nation. On this spot, 200 years ago, eight women were put on trial for being witches. And while every single one of them denied it to their deaths, they were still burned at the stake. And if you look behind you, you'll see five of those stakes still exist to this day. <laughs> nice try. If you folks want to hear the real history, come on and follow me. You too. Dogs are welcome. Come on. Despite my better judgment, we decided to tag along. Who knew? Maybe I'd learned something. Plus, it was a nice day to take Aries for a walk. So right over here, we have the original town hall. It was built by one of the wealthiest ship owners in Salem's history, and it was dedicated by a former president. Huh, I didn't know that. In 1692, during the Salem witch hysteria and the Salem witch trials, the first church was right here. And this is where some of the examinations of the accused witches were held. They were looking for any sort of flaw on your body, a mole, birthmark, anything like that. If they found one, that was the devil's mark, and you were a witch. That sounds like a loaded exam to me. And as it turned out, no one was actually burned at the stake at all. Of those who were found guilty of being witches, 19 were hanged and one was crushed to death. Still not a nice way to go. Well, it sounds like Salem has a lot more history than just witches. But you know, we've got to catch up with our group if we want to learn all about it. Come on, girl. Back in the 1870s, Alexander Graham Bell was living in a house right across the street, and that is where he invented the telephone. And he was actually trying to create a hearing aid. But as so often happens during you know, scientific breakthroughs, he did not create the hearing aid. He created the first reliable means of long distance communication by voice. Fun fact. The first long distance call in history was actually made between Salem and Boston on February 12, 1877. Right across the street here is one of the oldest buildings in Salem. It is called the Witch House. This is where one of the judges during the witch trials was living, Judge Jonathan Corwin. While the judge never had any accused witches in his home, he did hear other cases here. Its actual address is not a full numbered address. It is a half, 310 and a half. Now, if you want to follow me down this way, I can lead you to a place where I have had personal supernatural encounters. Personal supernatural encounters. Now we're talking. Aries was excited to check it out. Welcome to the Ropes Mansion and the Ropes Gardens. Seven generations of Ropes called this property their home. But during the fourth generation of Ropes to live here, one of them suffered a very bad accident. She was caught in a fire, very severely burned, and did die on this property. Since her death, this building has been prone to very mysteriously starting Fires. These gardens also have a large number of supernatural events occurring. Oftentimes there are animals that like to come on our tours and sometimes they will come right back here with no problems, but at other times they will not walk down those two little stairs, won't let anyone by. Hmm, is Aries trying to tell me something? Maybe it's time we move on. Welcome to Chestnut Street. 
This was the first planned street in the United States. Back in the early 1800s, Salem was a very large port city, and all the ship owners who lived here wanted to move their families away from the noise and the smell of the old harbor. They went to the gentleman who owned all this land, said, can we buy it and build our mansions here? And he said yes, but he had a few very strict rules. First, all the houses had to be a certain size and a certain distance away from one another. And he wanted the whole street lined with chestnut trees. More money lived on this one street in the early 1800s than anywhere else in the United States. So in the 1800s, if you were looking for the 1%, here's where you would find them. And with that, we rounded out the tour, ending back at Salem Historical Tours. There you have it, an actual historical account of Salem. Nick, thank you. You're welcome. And hey, anyone who's interested, stop by 8 Central Street in Salem, Massachusetts. Come on down to Salem Historical Tours or Haunted Footsteps Ghost Tour. Hey. Oh, I didn't realize you had ghost tours as well. Where'd he, where'd he go?